everyone, and welcome back to Star Stable Online, and we are here with Rose Stone! It has been so long since we've seen Rose Stone. I am so happy to be writing her again. We had a wonderful time riding around with Amethyst Mist for the Halloween festivities. We've had a fantastic time with Silver Secret trying to unravel some of the mysteries across the land, and I thought it was finally time for us to get out old Rose Stone, who isn't really that old, and go ahead and stretch her legs, especially because there's a very special new update this week dun, 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 dun. a new market so there is now a new traveling market and apparently it is a fashion market which is not something i would have seen coming a traveling fashion market hmm and apparently they even have stuff you can't find at the mall so i thought rose stone being one who really enjoys having some beautiful flowers in her hair might also be one to enjoy looking over all of the fashion festivities going on in the traveling fair so we'll be going and joining them in just a second to see what kind of things are being sold over there but oh my gosh what other quests do we have going on right now we need to go talk to the foreman again uh donald wants something he's wanted something for a long time steve needs something marley needs something we've got a whole bunch of stuff going on in yarlaheem which both roaston and i missed and there's a daiquiri oh yeah i totally forgot about the monkey there's a monkey over in fort pinta and we still need to help andy out with his chickens over by uh fir grove so we will definitely be checking all of those quests out at some point but today we'll start with fashion and if we have time my beautiful roaststone we'll go see what the foreman wants and oh my gosh you guys after riding Amethyst Mist around for a while. This feels glorious! Being able to actually move and be fast. Oh, this feels so good. I mean, there's definitely some um, some credit to leveling up Amethyst Mist, but man, it just feels amazing to really be able to take off and start running on a horse that's quite a bit faster. All right, and apparently there's some special food. Oh my gosh, this is so cute! They just have a couple people hanging out, sitting right here chatting enjoying the market <laughs> they're even making the same hand gestures at the same time so this is the traveling market and it will kind of move around just like the horse festival does let's see what they have to offer oh a lilac spring cap i like anything with uh, the word lilac in front of it but not quite mine cross country green helmet which is actually a wow look at that command Oh my gosh, that's a lot better on command than what I've got on right now. So I'm kind of tempted to buy that, actually. Uh, you have the orange speckled trousers, green sport trousers. Oh my gosh. These are actually a huge boost in what I'm currently wearing. The red drain pipe skinny jeans, the red corduroy jeans, uh, the green corduroy jeans. Not quite as big a boost, but oh my goodness. And the purple sport trousers, riding four, jumping five, command three. What was the green ones? Four, five, three. I think we might have to get the green sport trousers, even though they don't match anything I'm wearing. <laughs> because that actually would be a huge boost to our ability to really ride Rose Stone and Silver Secret. All right, let's see what's over here. The orange sweater with a print, riding eight. Eight? Oh my gosh. Uh, the red hoodie with a print, so let's see, 814, 814, uh, 222, 445, name, just name <laughs> for this one. So it looks like red hoodie with a print would give us a huge boost in writing. Oh my gosh. But the orange sweater with the print would also give us a huge boost in writing. So 814, 814. Okay, we might have to upgrade our shirts, you guys. We might have to upgrade because we could be really, really fast with some of this gear. What about over here for our horse? All right, looks like it's just some leg wraps over here. And then what about over here? Oh, that's so cute. I wish I had gotten that little, uh, or it looked like a little pumpkin. Oh my goodness. It is a little pumpkin. That would have been really cute. And look at this tail. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Roaster, do you want a crimp tail? I think she's happy with her straight tail. And then we have a picnic basket and some food being sold as usual. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. I think we'll go ahead and buy a couple things just to celebrate the fact it is, uh, let's see, four, five. Man, that's pretty, four, five, four, five, three. I think we'll go ahead and get the green cross country helmet. We'll pay with star coins and we'll get the green, where are the green ones? The green tr uh, sports trousers. And then we'll go ahead and grab 
I think it's the hoodie, the print hoodie. And then it'll it'll be like a new riding outfit that we've got all put together. So the the orange sweater with the print might actually match the green stuff. So there we go. We should be a lot faster on Roadstone now. So why don't we go ahead and try all of these things out? We'll put them on. There we go. We're looking autumn-y. They match, they match. I could totally I could totally deal with this. Come along, thistle down, come along, Roadstone. And let's go see if we're any faster by popping over to Steve's ranch and running Steve's race. I have a feeling we will be faster. Also, Steve needs our help, so maybe we'll help him out. Whoa, that's a jump. That was the biggest jump we've ever done ever. Rowstone. Oh my gosh. Okay, Rowstone, let's see how much faster you are. Okay, Steve's race. Let's do this, Rowstone. Oh, I'm really excited now. Normally, I'm more focused. Okay, go, 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 go. Come on, Rowstone. Let's prove everybody that we can do this. Oh my gosh. I feel like she's a lot faster, but then again, I'm coming off of riding Amethyst Mist. So <laughs> maybe that doesn't take a lot of effort to feel like she's going much, much faster. All right, and let's go, let's go. But let's do this, Rowstone. We've got this, we've got this. See, it's really funny because in nothing else in my entire life, not my, my personal clothes, not clothes in pretty much any other game. I, I could care less about fashion, but there's something about the fact that Star Stable fashion is both useful and kind of cool. There's lots and lots of pretty designs and different things. Oh, I'm sorry, Rosestone, that was my fault. Pretty designs and different things that you can try on. I am more interested and obsessed with fashion in Star Stable than I am in any other aspect of fashion in my entire life, except maybe what I dressed my mayor in in Animal Crossing. And it's so fun to read from all of you guys who say that you feel the same way. There's nothing else that makes you so focused on fashion than Star Stable. It's just very interesting. I did not expect that from myself. All right, go, 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 go. Come on, Rostone. Come on, go, 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 go. All right, new personal best. I think that did make a big difference. We're still pretty far away from some of the best of the racers, but that's awesome. So this new outfit might really help out Rosestone. We might really be able to continue with our races, maybe even do a little bit of uh, competitive racing in the future. So I'm very happy about that. All right. Well, you guys, that is the traveling market. I am going to be keeping an eye on it. It might be worth poking every now and then and seeing what's new and what's showing up in it. But for today, let's go ahead and continue on with the many adventures that are throughout this entire beautiful world. And let's start by helping Steve out with his chipmunk problem, because I think chipmunks are adorable. They're very clever little creatures and very shy, as you noticed. You had to use a telescope to see them. The vet in Silverglade may have some advice. I don't want to hurt them. They're so cute, but I have to get rid of them. Ride to the vet and ask for advice. All right, Steve, you, I've got this. I've got this. So let's go talk to the vet. And then after we talk to the vet, we may also go talk to the foreman because I really want to get that pavilion. I could have found out a lot sooner that I didn't have enough uh, friendship and reputation with the Archaeological Society to get into the, the uh, observatory. I could have found that out a lot sooner if I had been able to go up the pavilion. So we're going to get that thing done. All right, chipmunks. Hello, Saga. I'd love to help you, but I can't right now. I have to go and help a horse with hay fever. But if you come back tomorrow, I'll be able to help you. Well, that was a short quest. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Vet. Well, let's go talk to Marley then. Maybe we can try out our new outfit with uh, Marley and we can see if we're able to do his race pretty well. I think his race is mostly jumps too. And then we can work our way over to the foreman. Rosestone, it's so good to have you back. I know I really love and enjoy my other horses too, but Rosestone is just like my best friend horse. You know what I mean, Marley? Hi, Saga. Do you know what I realized? I forgot to order goods for the store. There will be a lot of customers now that the new when the new track is open, so the items I have left will be sold out in a minute. I'll order them right away. Talk to me again when I'm done. Okay, Marley. Okay, are you done? That went fast, huh? I ordered clothes from Baldell and horse gear from Firgrove. The items are ordered but not delivered, and I don't want to wait one more day for the postman to deliver it, and that's why I need you. Alrighty, how can I help? Clothes for some customers? Ride to Valdell and retrieve a box of clothing I ordered. It'll be outside the clothing store in Valdell, ready to be picked up. Thanks for helping me, Saga. You're a real friend. Take the opportunity to shop in Valdell and enter the competition by Valdell Lake when you're in the neighborhood. <laughs> He's like his own little travel agency. 
something for the horses too. When it comes to horse gear, Fur Grove is the place. Their craft really is something special. Ride to Fur Grove and pick up the package I've ordered, okay? Great, Saga. I knew I could count on you. You can take the opportunity to race and shop in Fur Grove if you want to. It's not that urgent. Oh my gosh, you can't wait one more day. I don't know, Marley. You definitely seem he definitely seems like a bit of a travel salesman right now. Or not a traveling salesman. He definitely seems like the kind of guy uh, who, who's a travel agent. Like, hey, go travel here and spend your money. All right, all right. So let's go ahead. We're going to run over to the foreman. And we're going to see if we can make any progress finally on this gondola. Oh, is it open? Is it just about open? Are those cars hanging right there? I will be so excited if those are cars hanging right there. Also, look at what a wonderful place we can put this campsite overlooking the oil fields. I can't wait to get rid of those if that's even something that we're able to do. I should probably do something about the monkey. I wonder if the monkey has something to do with being able to like finish up some of the main storyline quests. So, <gasps> you guys, look, look, success. The gondola is actually up and going. I am so excited. Are you kidding me? <laughs> with that wedding done, oh my gosh. Ah, the gondola lift is done. Completely amazing, right, Saga? It went super smoothly. Thank you, Saga. Th uh, thank you, Saga. We couldn't have done it without you. Enter the gondola lift station and take a ride up to the observatory. Mario called and he told me he wanted to thank you himself. All right. Ooh, and we get a star saddle. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I think Rose Stone might like that. All right, let's go. Thank you, Foreman. That only took a bazillion donkey years, but we finally got there. All right, you guys, let's do this. I am so happy. All right, hang in there, Rostone. Oh, jeez. Rostone, watch out! Okay, so you get loaded up. And then are we just gonna pop out the other side? I, I don't get to watch Thistledown stick his little nose and ears out the window. All right, here we are! We're up on top of the mountain! This is so much faster than having to climb up the back trails. I love this view, too. This is very pretty. Rosestone, don't fall down the mountain, okay? Yeah, this is lovely. Wow. <laughs> one day, one day, those hot air balloons. One day. All right, let's go up and say hello to Mario. Even though he wouldn't let me go after the ghost inside the observatory. <sighs> That's all right. All right, let's go speak with him, though. Mario, how are you doing? Hooray! Finally, I won't have to sit up there alone all winter. Thank you, Saga. I want you to have this. It's a saddle for Rose Stone. I made it last winter when I had nothing to do for a few months. Please accept it as thanks for your work in getting the gondola lift done. It is the least I can do. Here is some money for the ride down, too. Hope we see you soon, Saga. You're welcome, Mario, and thank you so much. I'm sure Rose Stone really loves it. It's quite lovely against her skin, actually. Look at that very beautiful, vibrant blue coloring. We'll let her go ahead and wear that for today as long as we're not racing. Mario, you must thank Foreman Olaf for me. Please let him know I'd love to have him up for a cup of tea when he has time. See you soon, Saga. All right, so let's go ahead and thank the Foreman. I'm really glad we decided to talk to him before going back down, only to have to come back up and then back down again for the Foreman. But it's much easier now that we have the gondola lift. So now we'll ride on down. Okay, easy there, Rose Stone. She's so fast compared to Amethyst Mist, it's actually a little tricky to make sure I don't overcompensate and like send her sprawling in a different direction. Ah, so much better. We might even have time to swing by the Baroness's racetrack too and thus help Rose Stone get even closer to level 12. All right, so let's go thank the foreman as soon as I figure out which direction to go. There's the path. It sort of just vanished all of a sudden. All right, there we go. And foreman Olaf, would you like a cup of tea, Mario says. I would, I would love a cup of tea. Do you take your tea with sugar? And that about does it. My work here is done. I'll stay on Jorvik for a while just to make sure everything is running smoothly. I think I might ride up and check out the nice view when I find some free time. Thank you again, Saga. Remember you can ride the gondola lift now instead of using that dangerous road. Yay! Miss Morse wondered where you'd gotten to. She wants to talk to you. She and Bint are by the construction site at Northlink. Oh my gosh. And she's going to give me a pole bending apocalypse t-shirt. This is so cool. All right, let's go ahead and talk to her. She's going to get married. I like to say that we, we ha saw them get married with ghost in attendance pretty much the day before Halloween, which was quite amazing. A Halloween wedding for those two was perfect. I am, I am just absolutely pleased with how that turned out. But let's go see what Miss Morse's interesting romance is continuing with. 
We just wanted to thank you again, Saga. We have started to plan our wedding, and of course we would like you to be there as a guest of honor. We have been thinking we will move in together in Fir Grove and start a family. If we have a daughter someday, we're going to name her Saga. Oh my goodness! Wow! <laughs> Goodbye, and thank you for everything. Here's a sweater we designed together. We would like you to have it as a memory of what you did for us. Oh my gosh! That's so sweet! <laughs> the zombie pole vending apocalypse t-shirt. Well, I'm glad they like their active lifestyle. That is awesome. Thank you, Miss Morse. Thank you, Bent. I hope you both have a wonderful, happy life together. Wow, that wrapped up like a couple really important quests all at once. That makes me pretty happy. All right, so we're going to very discreetly change out of the quest items that were given to us as gifts. And we're actually going to go over, and I think we'll stop by the Baroness's racetrack really quickly because it's right here. We'll go ahead and race it real fast with Rose Stone. And then I think we might, hmm, we might go ahead and just take the, take the trailer to Valdel and Firgrove and snag those items from Marley just to continue, like, with all of, all of the things that are happening there. I think Marley's quest was supposed to be done, like, absolute donkey years ago, and we just haven't done it. All right, let's come over. All right, Rose Stone. Oh, hang on, Rose Stone. I'm going to put on our new gear. And then we're going to see how good this all is together. So let me line up our new gear so it's nice and easy to change in and out of really quickly. All right, let's start the racetrack. Let's do this. All right, so let's see if we can beat our high score. What, my high score with 31 seconds in the past? What? Rose Stone, when, when, when were we that quick? We must have just been speed demons. That's amazing, Rose Stone. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, no, 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 why did I do that? <laughs> why did I do that? Rose Stone, I ruined it. I ruined it all. I'm sorry, Rose Stone. <laughs> oh, I haven't run this track in a little while, so we're a little rusty, but that's okay. We're still having a good time, Rose Stone. I feel like Thistledown is just rolling his eyes. Like, really? Really? You were that close? We still did a personal best! <gasps> yes! Okay, and we're still seconds and seconds behind uh, the other people who are racing. But you know what? It's really just about having fun on some level. I'm not a very competitive person. I have more fun just having fun. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and ride over to the Baroness. We will let her know that the track is still not finished. Maybe she should hire Foreman Olaf. He takes a long time to get things done, but we do get things done. All right, we'll ride through very judgmentally through the oil fields with our nose stuck up in the air and pointed glances at the uh, imperiled flowers that are in the area. And then, yeah, then we'll finish up Marley's quest just because I would love to have that done. And I think next time we're actually going to go see what the monkey wants <laughs> over in Fort Pinta. So that's what we'll do too, is make sure we see what the monkey's up to. Cause I feel like that's actually a key quest that we need to take care of. I don't know why, I just feel like it is. All right, let's come talk to the Baroness really quick. Baroness, how are you doing? I'm afraid to tell you the racetrack is uh, still not done a year later. All right, and then we'll go ahead and just leap right on in to the trailers. I'm so glad you guys remember when I used to like almost be in tears because I would have to ride all the way over to like Fort Pinta or all the way over to Fir Grove or Valdel because I didn't know how to use the horse trailers <laughs> or I just completely forgot about them. I'm so glad we use them now. It makes life so much easier. Okay, and now we need to find where we need the packages. I'm tempted to talk to Andy. All right, where are these packages? Aha! Uh -huh. Let's go ahead and scoop these up. So we'll collect them from here at Fir Grove. And that means, I think, does Edward sell some cool Fir Grove stuff? I think he has something. Oh, this is a nice blue blanket. Nice. We just may buy some of these. Ooh, a dark green sport blanket that adds swiftness and discipline. And then there's a lilac sport blanket. That's not really as lilac-y as it is just like vibrant purple. Like in your eye purple. Ooh, a night riding saddle. Look how cool that is. And then we've got a black and white saddle. What else do we have up here? Another night saddle. Interesting. We have the seat of the mountain. Wow. That's actually better than what we've currently got a little bit, depending on what you're going for. And then the fir grove saddle, which is actually blue. That's interesting. So, hmm, red Yorvik saddle, classic beige saddle, white Yorvik saddle. The white Yorvik saddle actually looks kind of good on Rose Stone, but I think we're okay for now. All right, thank you, Edward. You have a very serious expression, my friend, but I'm sure that's just the way life is sometimes. 
All right, and let's go ahead and we'll pop over to Valdel and we will snag. Do 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 do. Do do. And not the lake, not the lake, please. That's a beautiful, beautiful race, but not the one I want to go on right now. We'll snag the other stuff, take it back to Marley, and bada boom, bada bing, we can head over to the monkey next time. <laughs> I'm not a fan of monkeys, so I might as well just like make myself get it over with because I really don't like monkeys. I'll be completely honest, I really, really, really don't like monkeys. So I like lemurs, but lemurs are not primates, so they're persimians. So we'll go ahead, we'll look into that. All right, let's come over and snagged it. All right, thank you, John. And now we'll head out of here. Do, 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 do. And take this, oh, I love these trees and the moss up alongside these trunks and the beautiful roses, absolutely gorgeous, to Steve's farm. And we'll take all of this to Marley. So hopefully he can be happy with all the supplies he'll have to sell to any curious people who happen to wander by his shop, even though he was like better at advertising for other places in the world than his own place. All right, and around we go. I don't think we need to really go through the village. We'll just go around it really quickly. Oh, Rose Stone. Oh, I just, she is just the horse I have the deepest connection with. And I just feel happiest when I am out riding with her. I really do. Do you guys have a horse like that? I know some of you are like, mm, not really. And you rotate between all of the ones that you have. But I know a lot of you are like me where there's just one that had something special. The moment in time when you found them, the the way that your adventures have unfolded together that just always stay with you. All right, close for the customers. Super fantastic. Soon we'll be able to open for real. Fantastic. I have more than enough horse gear in my shop now. And Marley's done for the day. So there we go. We've done what we can in the Silver Glade quest. And I will see you guys next time when we'll pop over to Fort Pinta. And we will see what's going on inside of that little monkey's mind. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.